December 18th was a pretty busy day throughout the years. Let's take a brief look back at some of the most historical events that happened on this fine day. A lot of it seems to do with America for some reason. But anyway, we'll, we'll go on. December 18th, 1620. The British ship Mayflower docks at modern day Plymouth, Massachusetts, and its passengers prepare to begin their new settlement, Plymouth Colony. However, this story actually begins back in 1606. A group of reform minded Puritans in Nottinghamshire, England, set up their own church, separating away from the state sanctioned Church of England. Accused of treason, they are forced to leave the country and settle in the more tolerant, Netherlands. After 12 years of struggling to adapt and make a decent living in the Netherlands, the group sought out London merchants for financing to go across the ocean and set up a settlement in America. And so on September the 6th, 1620, 102 passengers dubbed as pilgrims clambered onto the Mayflower to begin the long, hard journey to start their new lives in the new world. Although they reached the new world over a month before December 18th, they weren't happy with settling where they were. Around December 10th, a group of scouts found a harbor that they liked around the western side of Cape Cod Bay. They returned to the Mayflower to tell the other passengers, but bad weather prevented them from docking there until December 18th. After exploring the region, the settlers chose a cleared area previously occupied by Native Americans. The tribe had abandoned the village several years earlier after an outbreak of European disease. That is the greatest unintentional metaphor I think I've ever heard. And now, moving on a couple of years, December 18th, 1865. Slavery was abolished in the United States took them long enough. On this day, the 13th Amendment was adopted into the US Constitution. This amendment ensured that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Also, Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Constitutional law. Abraham Lincoln, though he privately detested slavery, responded cautiously to the calls to end slavery after the outbreak of the Civil War. As the war dragged on, however, the Republican-dominated federal government began to see the strategic advantages of emancipation. The liberation of slaves would weaken the Confederacy as most of their workforce were made up of slaves. This would in turn strengthen the Union because of the influx of manpower. That's right, even the abolishment of slavery couldn't escape from the tainted grip of American politics. It's insane. So on January the 1st, 1863, Abraham Lincoln formally issued the Emancipation Population, blah, 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 procula proculation, proculation, procu proculation? The Emancipation Proclamation. There we go. He called on the Union to liberate all the slaves in the states that were still in rebellion. However, as the Confederacy staggered to a defeat, Lincoln realized that his proclamation, a war measure, would have almost zero constitutional authority after the war is over. The Republican Party subsequently introduced the 13th Amendment into Congress. It sailed through the overwhelmingly Republican Senate, but got a bit stuck in the House of Commons. That's a British term. It sailed through the overwhelmingly Republican Senate, but it got stuck in the House of Representatives. At the time, the House of Representatives featured a higher proportion of Democrats. It's funny how Obama was the first African-American president. He was a Democrat. Gonna miss you, Obama. And the amendment wasn't passed by the two-thirds majority until 1865. And then on December 18th, the 13th Amendment was officially adopted into the Constitution. 246 years after the first shipload of captive Africans landed in Jamestown, Virginia. And on that positive note, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. I sourced this information from history.com. They've got a on this day in history for every single day. If you wanna know more about December 18th or any other day of the year, I'd highly recommend going there. Not being paid to say that, just spreading the knowledge. Anyway, hope your December 18th was pleasingly eventful and I'll see you in the next video.